Hi, this is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. I will be doing a voiceover for today's video. I just finished setting up my merch yesterday. It is not yet available on YouTube, but you can shop at the website in the video description. The website can also be found in my latest community post on YouTube. Go check it out! What you see first is my wallpaper. I am using the ones from Apple. You can find them in settings when choosing a new wallpaper. Select stills. I was using pictures from Pinterest at first, but currently I'm liking this style a little more. My iPad is definitely not very organized. There are a bunch of apps on my iPad that I never use and I just forgot to delete them. Starting from the bottom right, I have messages and WeChat. I only use messages when AirDrop isn't really working. Then I use WeChat for my mom safari email files and then i have youtube and then youtube studio those are the must-haves obviously because i am a youtuber and then i have procreate i use procreate to draw and i also use procreate to edit all my thumbnails moving on to notability i use notability for note taking I chose Notability over GoodNotes because of its recording feature. I did have a phase where I really wanted GoodNotes, but I didn't get it. One app is definitely enough. You don't really need Notability and GoodNotes. These are some of the notes I took on Notability. Notability is also really good for annotations. Something I find really cool is that for some textbooks, you can actually change the page color in Notability. For example, like this. And then it's the Apple Calendar. I don't use the Apple Calendar that much. And then Photos and Discord. I don't really use Discord. I only started using Discord recently because of debate tournaments. They use Discord to manage tournaments now. And then I also started using Discord because of my friend. She wanted to use Discord to connect instead of Instagram so we could spend a little less time on social media. Google Calendar Google Calendar is my main calendar app. I have a schedule sheet hanged in my room, so I don't use calendar apps frequently. Next is the Gmail app. I really like the Gmail app. It really makes me want to check my emails. On the right is Outlook. I have my mom's email signed in. I used to use her email when I was in junior high for events because I never check my emails. The notes app is one of my favorite apps. I really like it because I can share my notes on my iPad to my phone. I can also edit or view my notes on my phone. These are some of my notes. This folder is for apps that I don't use. Google Classroom is something I use for school, and then Google Drive, I usually use it for school as well, and maybe sometimes to upload some pictures so I could download them from my computer. I rarely use Google Slides, and I also rarely use OneNote, maybe once every month or once every two months. Google Translate, honestly not much to talk about, must have if you're taking a language course. Next, I have a folder for photos and video apps. I don't really use these apps very often. If I have them in a folder, that means I don't really even use them. Sketchbook. Sketchbook is a free drawing app. There are a lot of comparisons on YouTube for Sketchbook and Procreate and which one you should get and how it functions. I never looked really deep into Sketchbook because I knew I was going to get Procreate. I still don't know where the eraser tool is in Sketchbook. I think there is an eraser function. I just don't know where it is. Besides Sketchbook, I have a folder and it is labeled as games. 
this is the only game I have on my phone and on my iPad currently. I never play this game. It is really boring. There's not much in this game. I downloaded this app mainly because I really like the icon of the app and I don't really delete apps on my iPad so it's still here. Notion is a pretty good app. It is also recommended by a lot of YouTubers. I did use it a lot last year, but I don't really use it a lot anymore this year. Next app is Spotify. Spotify would be also one of my favorite apps. It is very helpful for me in terms of studying. I am right now really into pop music and things like that. Spotify really helped me to study and focus. I actually don't use TikTok on my iPad. I don't even have my account logged in for TikTok on my iPad. And then I have Instagram. After that is a tuner app. I use it to tune my violin. I think the next app is a screen share app. I never use this app. I don't even know why it is on here. Artstation. I only used this app when I created my account and that was it. Lightroom. Lightroom is pretty good in terms of adjusting your lighting for your pictures. And then Canva. I use Canva for posters and I also had to use Canva for an English project. This is another folder and these are all study apps. I don't really use them a lot, but I just have them on my iPad. The app beside it is me too. It is recommended by one of my friends. It is a photo editing app. It can also be used to edit videos. I don't really use this app a lot, but it is a pretty good app. Next is a scanner app. It is called Scanner Pro. You will need to pay to unlock some of its features. I mainly use Adobe Scan. All of its features are good enough for me and it's also a free app. InShot, I used to use InShot to edit all my videos, but now I am switching to editing on my computer. Next is Flora. Flora is kind of similar to Forest, but it is a free app. However, I think you can connect to your bank account and lose money if you don't focus on studying or something. I don't really remember, but it's something similar to that. Concepts. Concepts is a free note-taking app. However, you can also pay to unlock premium features. Same thing for this app. I don't know where the eraser tool is. I'm pretty sure you can erase writings in this app, but I just don't know where the eraser is. And that is it for today's What's on my iPad video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Oh my god, you can tell that my voice is getting more and more tired. What time is it? It's literally 2 o'clock. I started doing my voiceover at 10. And now it's 2 o'clock.